YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more Blind Gaming. Today we're playing Dying Light on hard mode, and we're playing it for the PC, of course. And uh, we're on part three of our series. Hooray! So, as far as the quest, we're still on Awakening. Um, I think that's a reference to us waking up from our you know, incident. And uh, we're building trust to infiltrate this group to get this vaccine. That's basically all we know. And they're zombies. We just haven't seen them yet. So without further ado, let's get to it. So, so, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Okay, fair enough. Can't see what I look like. Enter a safe area. Right, there's my. It doesn't really show that I thought items were outlined when you did that. So that's what my guy looks like. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. Gave me my own room. I mean, it's a mattress on the floor, but still. That's what I'd be sleeping on right there. He's probably like, oh crap, just having a ciggy. Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? I'm walking to Yeah, it feels like my walk is just really slow. I must depress I'll have to futz with that later. Weird how the disorients, yeah. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, alright? Now, jump down to the very bottom. 
nuts, I'd kill myself. Going to be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Raheem! Don't move! I'll get help! Ha. I was just fucking with you. Son of a bitch! What? Oh my god. Take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. Yeah, screw it. It's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing. So the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. All right, we'll see how we do. Run and then kick. No. Run and crouch. That wasn't sliding. Nope. Oh, that looks behind. slide well never mind the slide I couldn't really find anything maybe there is no slide God, how the hell did I just do that? Well, we, we did that. bent my wrist look. Uh, I'm not making that. God. Oh my god. That's crazy. Okay, crazy. That's Closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. Huh. Well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Ooh. Alright, gotta go back over there.
Oh my god. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm, I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Seizures remind you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. She'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antisim. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. This place is uh, not super big, but it's going to be a little exploring, that's for sure. Oops. All right, they've given me an actual job. And nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms... So far, so good. I think you can get quests on this bulletin board, too. Is that a HP laptop? Looks like it. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antisim. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you, but don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> <laughs> cost anything? These are free? Guess that was free. Okay, cool. 
So maybe from time to time he'll give me stuff. So what do we got here? Just looking at it, do my inventory. So these are just crafting parts. Looks like I have no weapons. stuff oh there we go no there we don't go Just can't select it right now. We'll go by that. Mm, no one's talking to me. Yeah, it's a UV light. Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. Oh, quick. Try not to make too much noise. Backpack. Delete. Fuckers. Okay. Here we go. And then I don't know what goes down here. Maybe more weapons. Maybe these are just weapon slots. I think that'll, you know what, you're going to want to see one zombie, aren't you? Come here, Mr. Angry Pants. There's a little Mr. Angry Pants. See you moving. But don't move away. There we go. Whoa. I hear a lot of hissing. Don't see anybody else up there. Oh, 
our first zombie of the game. Well, technically second, but. They don't have a health bar or anything either. so much stamina too and my thing's already breaking. Is there a skill tree? Oh, I can't remember now. So your blueprints, you got med kit. Ooh, here we go. Got survivor, agility, and probably the more you run, the more you survive. I think knights especially. And I think it's those airdrops he was talking about. Big points in that. And then power. That's right, you got a tree. Cool. This is going to be my main tree. This is going to be my second main tree. But yeah, the zombies can die. At least they're not moving. The thing is, is this, I got to figure out, because I think when I played it before, when you do this and there's something to grab, it'll like highlight it. Okay, those weren't grabbable. Here we go. Trash bins are. See? And there's nothing like highlighting. And you pick up weapons from like right here. Right from the dumpster. At least this is like all the start out. This is what I did. There's another couple. Oh, there's a little Mr. Angry Pants over there. <laughs> little flustered zombie britches. Oh, this game's going to be fun. I am going to be doing a lot of melee combat on purpose. And I try to do it behind the scenes too, a lot of it. But you're going to see me do that pretty much the whole time. Because the power tree is where it's at. As you saw, like, um, your weapons won't break is easy there I think there's like a durability for weapons um, I think it's don't use as much stamina you can do cool new combo moves you can I mean this is zombie world you we need it so we'll be doing that and I, I love running around with a melee weapon I really do and this game this game is designed uh, you know you can you can fight the zombies but you can, you're going to parkour over everything, and I don't like to do that. I want to walk right through the shit. That's just my preference. I'll, I'll play around with the controls and everything. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that, that gameplay. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I hope to see you next time, of course, as we travel through the world of Dying Light. And as always, until next time, later.